Hi, I'm Niels Merner, and this is an introductory video on hand technique for snare drummers and drum set players. First off, there are three basic grips. You have German grip, like so, French grip, like so, and traditional grip, like so. Today, what I'm going to cover is German grip, or German technique, also known as matched grip. Uh, in this technique, the backs of the hands are flat with the palms parallel to the floor, the tip of the thumb and the first knuckle of the index finger form what's called the fulcrum, or the pivot point. The hand and the wrist are in their relaxed natural position, the hand is concave with the space remaining open, and the remaining fingers after the fulcrum Gently grasp the drumstick, pulling it towards the palm, like so. Okay, so uh, there are two very important things to consider with this technique or with any hand technique. They are, first off, you want to be in a relaxed natural position, and second, you want to let the drumstick do the work or follow the drumstick like dribbling a basketball. <clears throat> Now, being in a relaxed natural position means you could hang your hands down at your sides. They would be totally relaxed. You could bring your arms up into this position with the backs of your hands flat, and that would pretty much be your playing position. For me, it looks like so. People have different anatomy, so their hand technique may look different. There are many variations of this technique, and almost every drummer has a little bit different anatomy and a little bit different technique. So there's no one absolute right way. Instead, it's smart to follow these universal rules of relaxed natural position. And second, you want to imagine that this is a broomstick with a basketball on the end. And what that means is you are going to try to dribble the basketball with the broomstick. Um, you can imagine if you had two basketball players, uh, one standing and dribbling a basketball in a relaxed way, he could easily move around the court, he doesn't get tired, he's relaxed, he's controlled. And then you have one that's holding on to a basketball and hitting it on the ground over and over. He's going to really be tired very quickly, it's going to be inefficient, and as soon as he tries to run around the court dribbling that ball, it's going to be silly. So the same is true of the relaxed natural hand and wrist position. You could imagine a marathon runner if he was going to try and run a marathon, but first he was going to twist his knees or bend his bend an arm in or a foot inwards and then try and run this marathon. It would be really inefficient and he would probably get an injury or worse. So those two things are your main points. After you've got the hand position, quick, re quick recap on the hand position. The backs of the hands are flat with the palms parallel to the floor. The fulcrum is formed between the tip of the thumb and the first knuckle of the index finger. The remaining fingers are resting gently on the drumstick, pulling it into the palm. The wrist is relatively straight in its relaxed position. The hand is allowed to remain concave, and this space stays open to some degree. Um, so now I'm going to show you a quick exercise where you can practice sort of dribbling the drumsticks like basketballs on broomsticks. This is called eight on a hand. And what you're going to do is you're going to play eight right hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then eight left hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're gonna find a tempo to do that, or a speed to do that, that feels really relaxed and natural. Like when you dribble a basketball, you kind of follow the basketball's tempo or speed. You really let the basketball inform you the way that it wants to be dribbled. You're going to do the same thing with the drumstick. So let's give it a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So that's an exercise called eight on a hand, and that should get you started learning good hand technique. Uh, now, very briefly, I'm just going to play for you 
a, a roll that really uses, that lets the drumstick do the work for you. This is called the double stroke roll. And if you try to play this in a tense way or holding onto the drumstick, it just won't ever really happen. You can't go that fast. But it's like magic. If you let the drumstick do the work, the double stroke roll will really just play itself. And of course, it takes some practice. You have to practice this slowly, focusing on control, relaxed control first, and speed is a result of relaxed control. If you try to get tense and grab after speed too soon, you'll form a plateau and you won't really be able to get faster. So here is a double stroke roll, played from slow to fast to slow in a relaxed way, letting the drumstick do the work and letting it bounce. All right, I hope that that's a helpful introduction for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video or send me an email and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.